Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Cargo. Hi. Thought I'd do another little video. It's been a while. Um, well, I say it's been a while. Um, I did go into town last uh, this week. I did actually pick up three uh, DVDs. I'm trying to remember what I've done with them. Um, there's just three for a pound in the horror, horror section. They had a, the Exorcism of Anna Eklund. Uh, exorcism films don't really do much for me, but you've got to love the horror films. Um, then we have Anna, which I've got two films with uh, the name Anna, um, inspired by true events. Um, I think it's maybe the same franchise, maybe? Um, I don't know. And then I picked up Dead Silence. Um, I want to say this is definitely on like Shadow or something. Um, I've heard good things about this one. It's from the same people who made Saw. Um, you know, I love me some good Saw. Um, I am looking forward to Saw 8, uh, 10. Saw X, whatever they call it. Um, that I think that's going to be a good film. I've heard that it's going to be sort of back to basic. Um, I don't know where it fits into the timeline. But, uh, again, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think of Saw. Uh, 10 um, and that so be interesting to see what um, comes of Saw um, I, I don't know like I, 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 I enjoyed Jigsaw I thought Jigsaw wasn't bad um, I didn't love it but I didn't hate it um, Spiral on the other hand as you know my thoughts on Spiral I, I did not like Spiral at all um, had a good it had a good premise to it, but the problem I, I found with Spiral is is Chris Rock or whoever, I think it's Chris Rock, yeah. Um, he was just, I don't know, like, as a comedian, yeah, I could probably find him quite funny. But when you put a, 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 a movie like Saw on and you put a comedian in it and you've got this, yeah, it's just... It's just not what it wasn't for me. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah. But it might be a bit warm. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, sort of went off on a tangent there. Um, yeah, my fingers are healing up nicely. Um, I think it's pretty much almost healed um want to say maybe a day or two more and then then i'll probably take the bandage off uh go without the bandage just wanted to do to make sure you know don't take any chances with this um yeah so uh what uh i've still been playing a lot of fallout 4 um i've been getting some more of those community creation creation club stuff um which i really like the creation club stuff you know at first <laughs> I can understand why some people weren't a big fan of it, um, because it's basically paid mods. But, you know, after actually playing some of the stuff on there, it's pretty cool. Um, I've got, like, um, seven sets of power armor now, <laughs> um, which is pretty awesome, actually. Um, I've got, like, a, a T-45, got T two sets of T-51, I've got the Overboss uh, Raider Power Armor, which is what you get from Nuka World. Uh, I've got the uh, Captain Cosmos um, one, which is a community creation one, a community creation club, sorry. And that one's pretty cool, actually. It comes with jetpack and everything. But the one that I'm using at the moment is the uh, Quantum X01 um, Power Armor. X01 is the best Power Armor in the game. Um, at least in the base game, you know, um, that isn't like a, a mod. But yeah, the X01 power arm is so good, uh, at least in the base game. I think there is a couple of, well, you can get mods. Uh, I think there's a few Creation Club ones. Um, the Captain Cosmos power armor is not... It, it, I'd say it's pretty close to X01 in terms of like base stats, uh, but the quantum one is pretty beast because um, everything on it is mark, 
um, 5 or Mark 6, which um, is the second from maxed out in terms of base upgrades. Uh, and then the, the the actual, what the power armor does for you, it, it gives you minus, um, it gives you increased uh, <coughs> action points, um, refresh, which when you um, add that with the uh, Pat Mule perk, which allows you to run while over encumbered and fast travel while over encumbered. But if you have it maxed out, you can still run while over encumbered and it will get you 50% less action points. Yeah, so that's a pretty beasty little setup because you can really just sort of grab everything you need and fast travel back to, um, well, have your main bases, if you will, mines and sanctuary. Um, well, I say my main base, but that's why I keep all the stuff. Um, I'll definitely... Um, I did put a picture up on Instagram, actually, of of uh, of the uh, collection of power armors, so feel free to check that out at the Mad Kiger. Um, I, again, I'm having a lot of fun with Fallout. You know, it's it's the sort of game that you can really lose a lot of time into, and and the thing is, it's not a game that like there is no right or wrong way of doing things. You know, there's a lot of choices to be made and. I've always been a fan of those sort of RPGs, you know, where it's all open-ended. There's no, um, like, there is an ending, but there isn't. Oh, for f yeah, I've always been a, a fan of that sort of style of RPG where you just have, there is an ending to it, but there is no end game, if you will. Like, yeah, there is a an end credits, there's a final main storyline, but, but you can just sort of, play the games and, and just sort of go right that's it you know I'm playing it and I, I can take my time with it you know if I want to be a bad guy I can be a bad guy if I want to just cause chaos I can do that and you know it's one of them games that your your actions have uh well reactions shall we say you know if you go around stealing things or killing people in the cities of course everyone's going to hate you so it is a game where an honest mistake can cost you uh, I think many times I've accidentally uh, went to uh, pick an item up and uh, then then someone's walked in front of me or uh, the item's picked up the wrong item and it's gone stolen. Uh, the problem is with Fallout is that unlike um, Skyrim and Oblivion, there's no sort of option to... Um, like, if you steal something or commit a crime in, in... At least in Oblivion, I think even in Skyrim, I could be wrong... Um, you get the option of spending a night in jail or, or uh, having to pay a fine, which, you know, a lot of games do this, you know, like uh, Grand Theft Auto, of course, the police and uh, and that, and then Red Dead Redemption with the bounty system. And I do like games that have that, implement that sort of, um, you know, uh, morality system into it. You know, if you do something wrong, you'll get punished for it, but it's, down to you to make those choices with fallout it's kind of like if you make a mistake by accident and and and, and that you kind of fuck up because that whole area could become um hostile towards you and you can really mess up a bunch of quests and that so it is a game where you need to save um a lot but luckily the auto save system in it is it's quite good literally every time you come to a new area or start something or or, or that the auto saves um are quite frequent so you know you can always sort of go back and do it uh, i did that the other day where i had to go and uh put a, um, a shock collar on someone and they were in the bar and uh, um i accidentally did it to them while they were in the middle and then everyone started attacking me and good neighbor and yeah and then i was like oh shit um so i loaded up a save file that wasn't too far behind that and uh yeah so he's a save a, a plenty if you will um i do want to get the rest of the stuff you know a lot of the stuff that i've got in fallout in terms of the community creation stuff is is um you know there's still a few on there that is that are pretty cool um that i need to go back and finish and and, and um you know it's, it's pretty cool and again with the mods the actual mods um there are some cool ones on there um 
but for me, like I said, I'd rather keep this game as as uh, base as possible. You know, community creations and DLC is fine because it does cancel your achievements. But maybe when I've done every quest and done every thing that I want to do, if I do want to jump onto Fallout and just mess around with some mods and just see what's available, get more gameplay, if you will, and try and get that max level which I think is like 285 or something like that, um, and get all the perks or whatever, you know. I'm still thinking far ahead. I'm probably not going to do that. Um, but we'll, we'll see, you know, like I said, it, it's been the main game for a while. Um, you know, what I've been watching again, I've uh, been watching a bit of wrestling here and there, um, checked out some stuff on the Fight TV, uh, on the Fight Plus. Um, some of them are pretty good. Um, some of them were... A bit average, but you know that's the thing with indies. You don't know whether you're going to go into one that's going to be really uh, high production values or sort of low production values. But if the wrestling's good, the fights are good. You know that's all that matters, right? Um, again, almost all caught up with Dashi. Um, going to watch some more of him tonight. Um, I, I've always been a fan of Dashi. You know, have you ever done that with a YouTuber where you've actually subscribe to a youtuber because you've seen one of their videos and watched all their videos from the beginning um there are many video people i've done that with on youtube uh, dashi of course is definitely up there you know um there are some youtubers that sort of that, that, you know i have a bunch i'm subscribed to a lot of people on youtube and um just so you know with my youtube watch history if there's a lot of kid stuff on there and random things uh that's either my daughter or my son um you know, so that that's the problem. Uh, I keep going on my subscription list and seeing all these people for Minecraft and Roblox and all these people that I have no clue who they are. I have to unsubscribe to them because uh, I don't need all that shit on my feed. Uh, not that it bothers me too much because if if I know who I'm watching, um, I just type them in and go through their videos. So it's not a massive problem, but it is kind of annoying. It's not when you go on your Netflix and someone been watching a show on your account instead of using their own account you know it's one of them things like don't don't do that that's 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 something you don't do you know um but yeah again if i if i was to say sort of who are the ones that i tend to keep up to date with as much as possible uh metal jesus um i've always been a fan of metal jesus videos um again dashi um Vanos, I've always been a fan of Vanos. I do need to go back. These are all ones that I'm trying to catch up with and keep up to date with. Uh, Nova, Uber Hacks and Nova as well. Um, I want to say PewDiePie, but I, 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 again, I watched PewDiePie um, back in the day, but again, um, his channel changed a lot. Again, you know, I've always been a fan of PewDiePie. I've always liked what he's done, you know, but um again <laughs> um you know uh, there's some other ones on you know i tend to try to um go through different stages of youtube so if i want to watch gaming videos you know i'll stick to their sort of gameplay videos uh if i want to watch like walkthroughs you know things like rad brad and stuff like that if if i want to watch um you know collection stuff and uh things like that like if it's dvd orientated i'll watch something like absolute sublime or if i'm watching like gaming collections fin game there's a ton of youtubers that i do watch and i'm trying to get as up to date as possible with some of them although youtube can be quite weird sometimes because i go through some of the channels and there are there are people on there that i've started watching and then all of a sudden they've got no more videos or all their videos been deleted so i don't I uh, don't quite know why that's the case and I suppose unless you follow them on social media or something like that then you, you're you not going to really know and I don't go on social media a ton um, you know occasionally every now and then there's a scroll through kind of thing but I won't really sort of go out of my way to follow certain people on social media and, and keep up to date with everything they're doing you know your life is your own life you know we've got our own lives to live um so yeah um i'm not too sure what's the plan for this week um i've got a few phone calls to make tomorrow try and sort some stuff out um my son breaks up from school uh not this week the following week but he is in later this week 
um, my, my brother has been in hospital, um, had a lot of stuff going on, and my youngest brother, um, so that's been on my mind lately, but I know he's back home now and, and, and stuff like that, so um, he's got a long road to recovery. I won't go into too many details, but that's obviously been on my mind, especially when I can't go and visit them, you know, if they were 10 minutes down the road, it wouldn't be an issue, but you know, this... Uh, to go and see my family, it's about an hour and a half on a train or or like two hour car journey if I but that means I have to get a lift from someone and again, even if I did drive, that's still a two hour drive, you know, at the end of the day. Um and, and, and that so I'm hoping to try and go down in August um and see them. Uh it'll probably be me and my son. Um it's easier to take him with me than than try and all go down because uh, the options are you know, a bit easier for, for with him because I can get on the train if, if I can't get a lift down there um, and stay over for a couple of days. And, and, you know, same thing, you know, with my mate. We, we tend to go out quite a bit when I'm down there, which I always enjoy. You know, I don't go out a lot here at home in terms of uh, go places, you know. It's the same places I go to, you know, uh, town and shopping and things like that. Um, but we don't really have, like, activities where we go out and do bowling or go to the cinema and stuff like that i do that with my mate go out for a meal and uh you know even if if my son's with us you know i'll go come on come over for a couple of hours and we'll watch a film and order some food in and while he's in bed uh you know because my dad's quite sound like that and and he's never really there that much anyway and he only lives two minutes around the corner from from my dad's house anyway so uh but yeah so um that's pretty much what's been going on uh, again like i said um i have got a few videos in mind um maybe if you guys want to see something specific let me know i do want to try and do some more reviews and maybe possibly some uh, television reviews and some more top lists um definitely thinking about doing uh the best animated originals um video uh when i talk about originals like uh, netflix originals or prime stuff that's exclusive to a streaming service um they might have dvds or blu-rays of them but i'm talking about something that's exclusive to that channel you know not like the simpsons or family guy which yes disney plus um have those on their subscription but they don't um they may own the rights to that show, but it's not an exclusive show. You know, that, that show can be found on TV. It can be found on live TV. It can be found on um, some catch-up stuff like ITV and things like that. Or Channel 4 for The Simpsons. So, um, I'm talking exclusive, you know. Uh, like, original exclusive, like BoJack Horseman and, and you know, things like that. So, um, I am nearly finished with BoJack Horseman Third Watch. Um... But yeah, so I just thought I'd do a little update video. Um, yeah, those... Again, I sorry that I don't really do a lot of pickups anymore because I just... A, I don't have the space and B, I don't see the point in, in buying um, uh, something because I've got so many different subscriptions and nine times out of ten, if I see a film or something in the wild... It's probably going to be on one of my subscriptions. If it isn't, you know, maybe I'll wait and see if it will get added. Um, you know, the only thing that I kind of want to do get is the Ed, Ed and Eddie DVD collection just because it's the only way to watch it um, without having to buy, you know, individual seasons on like Amazon or something. Um, so... That's something that I might get maybe next month, as a, uh, but I don't know yet. Um, we'll see how things go. Same same thing with games, you know. I don't see the point in going out and buying any other games. If I'm uh, if I'm only playing Fallout at the moment, I don't need to go and buy another game for it to just sit there and 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 then eventually one or two things will happen. Either I won't play it or I end up selling it for less than what I brought it for. And the only game that I kind of want to maybe check out is the AEW Fight Forever. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've heard um, it, it's a fun old school action wrestling game, which, yeah, I'm, I'm all the for that. But again, 
I, 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 I don't really do things like, oh, I'll play it. If I'm playing something, I tend to stick to what I'm playing. Um, not like with the TV at the moment, you know, when I'm watching things at night. I'm watching more stuff at night than playing. Um, I, I tend to play a little bit of PlayStation in the morning. Um, and then maybe occasionally um, once in a blue moon in the evening. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, it's the same principle, you know, with watching stuff. I tend to try and watch something different each night. But some, you know, like tonight I'm watching some more Dashi. I did watch him last night. But I have a little system when it comes to watching um, people. So, you know. But I do like to have that variety, you know. Sometimes one night I could be watching a bit of wrestling. Uh, the next night I could be watching some YouTube. The, the previous night uh, could be a film night. I don't know. I just like to have that bit of difference. But anyway, I thought I'd just do an update and uh, let you guys know. Of course, uh, if you enjoyed this little update video, feel free to leave a like. And like I said, it's healing nicely. It don't even hurt that much anymore. Um, and as always, guys, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mad Tiger. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you've been playing recently. Maybe leave some questions. Maybe I'll do a little Q&A uh, in the next video. Um, I, it could be anything, any questions, you know. Maybe not too much too many personal questions, but uh, I'll try to answer some questions if you've got questions. It could be anything from what's your favourite uh, lightsaber in Star Wars or what's your favourite particular weapon in a, a certain game or your favourite multiplayer. Anything, you know, I'm always down to, you know, keeping it if it's orientated around gaming or TV or movies or any sort of... Um, interest then yeah I'll probably answer the question uh, too many personal questions i'll probably just ignore but um we'll see and as always guys subscribe if you haven't already and join the family and as always have a nice day and i'll see you possibly next week um i'll try and get this list up for the next uh, top list that i'm gonna do and as always see you soon